Hey everybody, P3DS Man here. Today I'm going to go ahead and go over Patriotic Chat 4.0, some of the overview, as well as features in the program. I think you guys will like everything that's been done to it. And a lot changed, and a lot of smaller issues fixed, such as the bugs. Uh, you may be familiar with them. You have some uh, program bugging out on you, or the icon problems, also some better connectivity for you. And the infamous butt issue. <laughs> and for those of you who have used Patriotic Chat previously, know what I'm speaking of. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The loading screen has been revamped as well. Have a nicer look to it. As well as faster load times, so there's less waiting. And as you have noticed, the login screen has been completely overhauled and has a few cool new features to it. The first thing I'm going to go ahead and explain about is, as you see, there's channel comments as well. And this is going to come off of Patriotic Underground's YouTube channel. So that way you can keep up to date with uh, what's going on there as well. Don't even have to visit the site if you don't want to. If uh, he has some announcements, announcements to make on his channel, Instead of this showing, you'll actually see the announcement. So it's kind of cool. So either way, you're going to keep up to date with all the info. Now we'll go ahead and get over to the uh, coolest feature I think you guys are going to like on this little screen here is the long-awaited screen name protection. Really easy to use, guys. Uh, all you have to do is just go in here, type in your desired uh, screen name. For this example, we'll just type in anybody. Click check availability. It is available, so what I'll go ahead and do is just type in a password for it. Passwords match, and just click protect my screen name. And as you'll notice, it is now protected. That's it, guys. That's all you have to do to protect your screen name with a password. Next thing I'm going to go ahead and just highlight again is the encryption test. Uh, if you're wanting to see what the data looks like that's passed over the internet until it reaches your screen. Let's go ahead and type some text in the box. Okay, and you see below here, it's text that's transmitted over it. Really kind of cool to be able to uh, visualize it so that way you know it is secure and no one's going to you know, retrieve the data that you send over the internet. If you'd like to go ahead and visit Patriotic Underground's YouTube channel, just click the button there and it'll take you right to it. So let's go ahead and get started and check out the actual chat part of the program. Go ahead and log in. Just to show you here, when I hit join, you notice now it's going to ask me for a password for that. So I'm going to go ahead and click off this now. And I'm going to enter my screen name, which is also protected. And you have the option here if you want to save your password so that we don't have to type it in every time. Uh, either way, your option. It is stored securely. So even if you save your password, it's not going to be able to be viewed by anybody. Okay. And welcome to Patri Patriotic Chat 4.0, guys. This is the new revamped version. Still works the same as it always has, but even better now. Nice new fresh look on it. Hope you guys like it. Put a lot of time into this part. Join the club that gives you Some of the new things uh, uh, to go with this is the uh, link bar. As you'll notice, it's not here anymore. It's actually up here. And when you click this button, it'll actually pop down for you. The menu has been changed. We now have icons you can click on. And another really cool feature is the status icons over here. As you can see, we've got a Greenwich Mean Time Clock, Connection Time, and Users Online. So it's just at a quick glance, you can kind of do that. Really useful. 
The, the main window, you're going to notice a few new things already. Uh, in addition to some new icons and some new alerts, which I'll get to here in just a second, uh, you'll notice that there's uh, Mike's latest YouTube video on here on his Patriotic Underground channel. And if you want to watch the video, you can go ahead and click on it, and it'll pop up for you. So anytime there's a new video, it's going to go ahead and pop in here, just uh, like any of the earthquake alerts or anything like that. Just kind of all in one little spot, you get notified of everything. Okay, uh, the next hour I'm going to go over with is the feed bar, uh, which I did highlight in the last video in the previous release. Uh, if you'd like to go ahead and, and read anything about uh, stories down here that pop up or earthquake information, just simply click these, either one of them, and it'll pop up your web browser and bring you straight to the site. Uh, you can also click these icons here for an extended view of the information. So any of these stories that pop up down here can also be accessed in here. And all you have to do is just uh, click on it, and it'll take you right into the website as well. That also applies for your earthquake feed. Your earthquake feed also, uh, just to highlight a little bit here, once black and bold, this is the most recent earthquake that is available. And earthquakes that are highlighted in a bold red are of magnitude 4.0 or greater. And as you can see, uh, just in the last few days, it's a pretty good amount of earthquakes greater than 4.0. So that's how you get to the extended information. Now the voice chat is still the same as it's always been. If you're not familiar how to use it, really simple. You just click the red button. And it'll go ahead and pop up in there. And as soon as you see that name pop up, you're broadcasting and everybody else can hear you that has their voice chat enabled. And some of the new features uh, that are in this uh, basically add on to some of the things that have been in the previous releases. Uh, definitely requested things. Uh, there's a couple new icons for your statuses, uh, your away, and block, as well as voice chat. Uh, so basically, if I disable my voice chat, I'll show you right here. You're going to see my icon up here is going to change a different color. If you see that icon like that with the yellowish color to it, you're going to know that the voice chat on their end is disabled and they're not going to be able to hear you as well. Now another cool feature uh, is the block, um, which we've added to on this release. You're going to notice, uh, you, you know, normally before you click block, it blocked the user and that was it. What this will actually do this time, there's two new features with it. The first feature you'll see is uh, the icon is actually changed so that way you know who is blocked in your list. The second feature that adds to the block list is even if you log out, come back in, whatever, if there's anybody with that same name, it's going to block them automatically for you so that we don't have to keep doing it every single time. So we'll go ahead and unblock here. Okay, so I mean, a lot of really cool new features so far. Um, we'll go ahead and get some of the detailed information on it. Now, your link bar button uh, basically works the same as uh, any other button. You just give it a click. But the cool thing about this is your link bar is going to slide out now. Okay. So, again, that's going to let you access a lot of Patriotic Underground's information if you'd like. Go ahead and jump on the website, YouTube channel, Earthquakes map, infrared satellite, and a live internet seismic server from the USGS. A really cool feature, quick access. And those are some uh, you know, really good links that uh, over time might be updated and changed uh, to provide you with breaking info or you know, latest news, anything that would be important. And uh, one of the newest things I'd really like to show you guys here is the new menu system we've got here. Just some really cool stuff here uh, you can go ahead and do. Um, this is going to go ahead, this is your connect button. There's been a few new things added to this. Uh, if you click on any of these, it'll take you to some useful sites. Of course, your leave discussion, which is your logout and your exit. 
is your conversation menu. So if you want to you know, copy anything in the chat, clear window, etc. Same as before. Your settings menu. And of course your status, so if you'd like to set yourself uh, away, busy, etc. Now keep in mind with this new release, if you are set to away or busy, uh, you will not be able to hear voice chat, even if you have it enabled. So that's another function I think you might find useful, because uh, frankly if I'm not away or I'm busy, I don't want to you know, hear the chat. This is a new uh, menu here I'm going to show you guys. This is the live links menu. This is pretty cool. Uh, what this does is this is uh, exactly what it says. It's live links that will update uh, throughout the course of the program being opened. The first one I'm going to go ahead and show here is the video menu. And what this is is all of the uh, recent videos. I believe it's 25 videos in here from Patriotic Underground's YouTube channel. Quick, ha quick access to them. Uh, you go ahead and just click on them and the video will go ahead and play. Global News. These are the top 25 uh, that are in through the live feed as well. Again, click to go ahead and open up a website and read more about it. 25 most recent earthquakes to happen. Again, click for more information. Now, a new feature here, I'm going to show you guys in a second here, is uh, something named Topic Links. And what this will do, a lot of times people are under links into the chat uh, that you can click on and visit you know, websites, useful information. And what this will do, anytime there's a link posted into the chat room, it'll actually put it into this menu automatically for you, even if you're not logged in. When you, as soon as you log in, that's going to be updated with the last 25 links that has been posted into the chat. So it's kind of a cool feature so that way you can keep up to date with, uh, you know, information being shared, you can discuss it again. Uh, really a neat feature to have in here, and I'll show you that in just a second. And again, if you'd like to manually refresh your information, such as news and earthquakes, videos, just click this and it'll automatically update for you. I'm going to go ahead and re-enable my voice chat here, and you notice my icon will change back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and highlight uh, the live topic links real quick uh, just to show you here. So for example if somebody put a link to CNN.com in the chat okay I'm gonna go ahead and browse up here and you'll notice as soon as I go to the topic links now that you can go to CNN.com so just click it to visit it really kind of a cool feature to have. And as well as uh, the, the alerts in here, uh, again, if there's a new video posted to Patriotic Underground's YouTube channel, it will show up in here as soon as it's posted. Earthquakes will also be notified in here, as well as there's a new sound for earthquake alerts. I think you guys will like that. And, uh, this is kind of another neat thing. If you click on a video inside the player or up on the link here, it'll pull up its own little video player. So, for example, let's just say, we'll go to this one Earthquakes and Frequencies, part one. You notice it pops up in a little video window now. What's up, YouTubers? It's Mike here on a rainy Wednesday. Okay, and you can move, maximize, change everything. And if you'd actually like to go to the YouTube site as well, just go ahead and click on a, uh, the video in there and it'll take you over to the site. And so guys, that uh, about does it for my overview.